So hi, I'm Berenice Magistretti here at OIS Retina. I'm here with Professor Tom Ray, um, Professor Department of Biological Structure at University of Washington. So on stage, you, you were talking about how certain animals can actually uh, regenerate the retina. So tell us a bit more about that. Sure. Um, yeah, it's been known for quite some time that um, animals like frogs and fish regenerate their retinas. And so if they got a retinal injury or a disease like retinitis pigmentosa, they would just spontaneously repair it. And so in those cases, we wouldn't need an OIS conference because they would actually, we'd all be repairing our retinas ourselves if we could. But unfortunately, we don't have that capability. But so what, what, what do animals have that we don't in order to regenerate? So we've looked at that um, over the years. and We've studied the cells that they use to repair their retina. And those cells are called glial cells, Mueller glial cells. And those glial cells are in our retinas as well. But in fish, what these glial cells do is they activate a program of gene expression that's reminiscent of what they had when they were developing in the first place. And so those uh, genes that are necessary for making neurons are present in the fish, so their glia then go on to give rise to these retinal stem cells that go on to make normal retina neurons again. But in our case, those genes aren't turned on, and so we just don't activate that program of regeneration. So the idea would be to take these cells from the fish and sort of insert them into the human eye through gene therapy, or? Yeah, so we, the cells are there in our eyes, but the genes aren't. So what we figured out how to do is take some of the genes that are normally expressed in development, in the developing retina, um, and put those into the Mueller glia of the mouse. And when you do that, and then you injure their retina, then they act more like the fish uh, Mueller glia and regenerate new neurons. And those neurons, wire back up into the rest of the retinal circuitry and respond to light just like a normal neuron would. So it's kind of amazing that they, we can kind of convert the, um, the mouse retina into a bit more fish-like character. And so you're in clinical trials right now? Um, no, I think, so we're still ways off from clinical trials. Um, this, this was just um, published really for the first time last year and we still have a ways to go before we can actually restore all the different types of neurons that we would like. So for example, in retinitis pigmentosa, one of the diseases that we're interested in and the Foundation Fighting Blindness, who funds our research, is particularly interested in, in retinitis pigmentosa, the rod photoreceptors and then ultimately cone photoreceptors degenerate. And so far in the mouse experiments we've done by stimulating regeneration, we've not gotten the photoreceptors to be regenerated. So uh, we and other groups are working on trying to figure out ways to coax these Mueller glia into making rod and cone photoreceptors. And when we can do that, we might have, uh, maybe it'll be a little bit more of a complex cocktail that we'll have to do. But yes, we'd like to use gene therapy then to insert those genes into the eyes, ultimately, of, of people and restore their vision. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you.